Alright, I'm just waking up guys. So uh woke up and Anthony actually texted me just after I woke up and he's like, hey, wanna go check this place out? And it was um he sent me basically a location for Sycamore Falls. Which if you guys remember I did a video on that place last year. It uh wasn't flowing at that point, um, because it's the middle of summer or uh early spring i can't remember something like that and uh all the snow melted melted already it was already hot so it just had sitting water but there's all the slack liners and rope swings and all that stuff going on <coughs> um but yeah um it was on my mind actually so it's funny that anthony actually suggested that so we're gonna go to town get mcdonald's uh well i'm gonna get a coffee from mcdonald's i think anthony's gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna head on over, check it out. All right, let's go. Well, I just, they just tried to rip me off at uh, McDonald's. Not too surprised about that. Coffee was standard price, but a kid tried to charge me like seven bucks for a sausage McMuffin no egg, which is like a dollar seventy in Phoenix. Oh, depending on where you go. I've been to some places in Phoenix where they're $2.30, but I was like, no, $7 ain't right. And he's like, yeah, that's how much it is. Just a small tourist town. And then I uh, went over to Anthony who ordered on the uh, kiosk and it was $3.29 on the kiosk. So I, I don't know, man, I need to retrain their stuff or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I got my coffee. That's about it. I'm not paying whatever it is the kid wanted. All right, got my coffee. Just waiting for Anthony to exit the bathroom. And then we're hitting the road. here at Sycamore Falls guys and I can already hear the water flowing so I think we're in luck the uh, falls are flowing and uh, this I see some snow down there so there's still snow hanging around it's pretty cool uh, Mr. Anthony brought Mr. Tux along for the hike how's uh, Tux going as a hiking companion Mr. Anthony he thinks he's in control ah I'm stuck <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow, guys. It looks totally different with uh, water flowing through it. Let's check it out. I'll uh, put in a little clip of what it looked like last year, but uh, yeah, so much more water and snow here right now. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, we've had to cut the trip a little short. We've just got too many unleashed dogs on the trail. Nobody's got leashes on their dogs, so. They're all obviously wanting to get into the cat. So maybe I'll come back down here later or something. We'll see, see if I got time. Well, I guess we got our snow camping after all. Not exactly what I was thinking of, but look at this. It's pretty wet in here. My van's sinking into the mud right here. But we do have snow right in our camp. 
The snow looks much better over here though, guys. I might actually be able to make a snowman after all. It's pretty melted. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's pretty icy, guys. This is definitely old snow, but who knows? I may be able to make a small snowman out of that. Okay, so I'm loving this campsite, guys. Even though it's wet and some people left some trash behind, it's just a beautiful area out here. I love being back in the trees. Oh, I've missed the trees, guys. I did just see an Abert squirrel um, roaming around over here, super fluffy with the little pointy ears. Oh my God. He's so cute. I haven't seen an Abert squirrel since last year sometime. So very, very cool. And I lost him, unfortunately. I don't know where he went. I'm gonna try to find him. I lost him, guys, I lost him. But since we're over this side, let's go over and look at the, uh, there's a much larger campsite across the road that so last year, this is where all the slack liners and uh, climbers and everything were staying in a large group over here. Basically the best campsites in the area. And they were both full. We got the smaller one today, but I want to go look at the large one and see what it's looking like over here. All right. By the looks of it, so it's actually wetter than the site we're in now. But it is quite a nice, spacious uh, site. Massive, absolutely massive fireplace in this one. Somebody chopped this big tree down. I'm hoping that was the forest service and not some people camping here. That's kind of sad if it was the case. But look at the giant fireplace. All these multiple pull-in spots all through this site. As you, as you can see, it's really wet. I wouldn't want to camp in here right now. But it's a really beautiful site right here. So I'm thinking either later this afternoon or early in the morning, we're going to go back to Sycamore Falls because I want to catch some long, uh, long exposure shots of the falls on my camera. And I just, I didn't get to hike around the whole thing like I did last time. So I just want to see what it's all like. So we'll probably go back there, I'm guessing maybe this evening. I don't know. We don't really want to lose our campsite, although... We haven't really seen anyone camping out here, so it's kind of funny. I guess because it's so wet and cold right now, nobody wants to be out here. But Anthony has his heated blanket and stuff. I got my diesel heater and extra blankets, so we're both quite content out here in the cold. It's fine. And the sun has come out today. It's quite a nice day, actually. There's no wind. So yeah, we're, we're having a good time out here. some uh, firewood I collected out of the woods here. Um, that green stuff was already in the fireplace when we got here. Uh, hopefully it'll burn, but I think it's gonna be smoky. But this is all nice dead dry firewood here. Anthony trying to get the perfect photo here. So we're just sitting here. Anthony's working on his van right now, so I'm on cat sitting duties. Um, I did just go for a little hike up over the hill there. There seems to be a lake over there, um, which is kind of cool. Didn't know that was there before. And uh, the sun's kind of disappeared, so it's getting a little cold, so the hoodie is back on. But, uh, yeah, I think after Anthony finishes work, we may actually go back over to Sycamore Falls. I'm going to take the camera over there, do some long exposure shots of the falls. I think that would be pretty cool. But for now, I'm just chilling. Uh, we got firewood set up um, right there, so we should have a decent fire as long as it lights. It has been wet out here. And yeah, that's about it for now, guys. All right, you're probably wondering, why is there a tent over here? Well, let's go ahead and tell you. So quite shortly, we want to go back down to Sycamore Falls. We've seen a few trucks driving up and down here, scoping out the campsites. And a couple of them were eyeing off our campsites here. And I bought this last summer. This is the first time I used it. It's just a $20 cheap Amazon tent. 
it's actually not bad to be honest it's not bad i'd use it for sure and honestly with my motorcycle camping when i do get my motorcycle um needs a new battery so it's not currently on the road but uh, when I get that back on the road, I'll probably do some motorcycle camping with this tent. But the idea I originally bought it was, um, in Mormon Lake, there's, it gets so busy in the summer there. And if I want to leave and go do something and come back, usually my campsite gets taken by that time. So I bought this. I figured, set up a table and chairs in the tent in the campsite. Nobody's going to want to park next to you. So uh, you basically... Guaranteed nobody's going to come steal your tent site while you go off and do something during the day. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I got the tent set up. We're going to take off back to Sycamore Falls and check it out. Take some photos, take some videos, walk around. And then um, we'll come back here, start the fire, have a good time. All right, guys. So we are back here at Sycamore Falls got my photography gear i'm gonna get some more video i'm gonna do some shots some long exposure shots maybe i'll share that with you guys too all right let's head on down got anthony hanging out over here all right so i took a few snaps of this waterfall uh, i'm still learning the balancing of long exposure photography uh you know playing with neutral density filters and stuff trying to play with the black and white Got a, it's a fine line with the balancing there but hopefully i got some good ones so i can bring them up on the screen for you guys but yeah look at this uh waterfall absolutely amazing and if you go back to the one where i go here in the summer i actually climbed down this very waterfall because it wasn't running it back then To the next waterfall here well we're at the next waterfall here it's pretty cool i sat on the edge of that when it was dry last year there's no real way to climb down you have to rope down from there still though very cool i climbed that uh rock face over there too a little bit it's pretty crazy all right i got a couple of shots that i think will work for that one so I think we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to the uh, next canyon area and the third and final uh, waterfall. We've got some guys climbing over here. I've seen a guy climb this uh, route last year too, actually. Right away he's down to the rocks below. All right, we're at the third and final waterfall. Unfortunately, as you can see, the sun's come back out behind me. It's kind of destroying my shot. So I don't think I'm gonna get any good shots on this waterfall. So we're gonna fiddle around with the lighting and the uh, settings on the camera here. And we're gonna see uh, what I can come up with. Maybe I'll be able to salvage something out of this. But the sun's really hammering my camera right now. Uh, yeah, beautiful again. Last year, I actually watched some guys climb down this waterfall. It wasn't running at the time. There's water at the bottom, but it, uh, it wasn't flowing. All right, I think we're going to wrap up and we're going to get back out of here, get back to camp and start cooking dinner, I think. I was gonna try to make a snowman this year, so here's my chance. The snow's not very good, but we're gonna try anyway. Oh wow, the snow sucks. <laughs> it's so hard and icy. This snow sucks.
Hands. Uh, Dude, this ice is too hard, bro. What? The ice is way too hard. Yep, fire's going pretty good now. It started dying on us, and we ended up sort of stoking it up and putting some dry wood back in there. So it's going good now, though. Oh, we're both exhausted. It's been a big day for us. And I probably got to edit a video tonight. I was just thinking, Ugh. oh well. Right now we're just relaxing. Um, I'm probably gonna make dinner in my van a little later. I don't know, maybe have some lasagna or something. All right. Wait for that snow. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna go. All right, guys, so I'm just retired into bed now. Um, I'm actually editing a video. I'm feeling pretty tired. I'm pretty tired, so we're going to edit this video and probably fall asleep, I think. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this adventure was a lot of fun, especially coming up here with Anthony. Um, I, I'm actually departing from Anthony tomorrow, and he's going to be heading a separate way as well. But we will be meeting up soon. We have other plans in the near future together, so we will be seeing each other very soon. All right, guys, you know what to do. Until next time, this is Aussie Van Man. We'll see you later. There goes Anthony. All right, guys, so Anthony just left. I'm about to leave. I'm not going to see Anthony for a little while now, at least probably a couple of weeks, I think. Um, yeah. We got plans to meet back up. He's heading east, I'm heading south. All right, let's hit the road, guys. What's going on here?